I'm Anthony. In 1986, at age six, while walking home from school, I was crossing a busy suburban road when a car hit me and I was rushed to the hospital. Once I arrived and my injuries were assessed, they were shown to be catastrophic. I had suffered a broken spinal cord, had massive internal bleeding, my liver was lacerated and my left kidney so badly damaged it had to be removed. Once the spinal cord is broken at a certain level, everything below that point ceases to function. This is why I can't move and why I need a carer to help me get dressed and to get up into my wheelchair. But everything above the injured point does work, which is why I can move my head and I'm able to drive a wheelchair with my chin. The brain and the spinal cord are the only two places in the body that the body can't repair. Having a disability means after waking up I can't just jump out of bed and run out the front door. One of these tasks is to have splints fitted. There are a few reasons for this. I can't support myself or hold myself upright due to my disability. As a result, I require a chest brace. So when I sit up in my wheelchair, I won't just flop over. I also wear leg and arm splints. Similarly, because I don't move my body anymore, I can't exercise. As a result, I need to have my limbs stretched by my carers in order for my limbs to remain flexible. As I am physically unable to do some things for myself, I need the assistance of a carer. Therefore, I have someone with me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to help me with whatever I can't do myself. Although my disability is a big part of my life. It isn't everything. Two of my passions are writing and the Hawthorne Football Club. I won these footballs in a raffle and they take pride of place here in my bedroom. This article was published in The Age in 2005. I'm very proud of it as it was the first lengthy article I've had published in a major daily newspaper. I am currently studying a Bachelor of Media Studies at La Trobe University in Bandura. I use a computer to look at emails, to study on the internet and to write. I use a stick in my mouth known as a mouth stick to type on the keyboard. The internet is a great help for study. I use it to read electronic books, journal articles and newspaper articles online. Always having my own carer to drive or my own personal chauffeur means when I'm drunk and out of the pub I don't need to worry at all about getting home again. Seriously though, having my own car provides a lot of freedom. It means I don't have to wait for an accessible taxi to arrive at my place or face the uncertainty of waiting to see if a low floor tram or bus will arrive. Now I am on my way to give a disability awareness talk at Debney Park Secondary College. In 2006, I approached Mee Valley City Council's Metro Access Officer, proposing to speak to school students to raise awareness of disability issues. All right, good morning everyone, I'm Anthony. Uh, this is Kim, she'll be helping me today. Now I wanted to talk to you a bit about 
the three kinds of disabilities. <coughs> There's three disabilities someone can get. Uh, the first one is is hidden. So they have a disability you can't see just by looking at someone, but if you start talking to them or see how they, how they move, then you'll soon find out um, <coughs> that they have a disability. So yeah, the first one is hidden. And the two forms of hidden disabilities are intellectual disabilities or acquired brain injury disabilities. Uh, acquired brain injury is when there's um, when there's damage to the brain. Through doing these talks, I'm also aiming to reduce misunderstandings or stereotypes of disability. It's exciting giving these talks because I'm part of the reason why public perceptions about disability are being changed. To relax and to have fun, I'm just like any other young living life to the full person. I like going out whenever I can to see friends, to go to the movies, to go to the pub to see bands, and more often than not, ending up on the dance floor at the end of the night. I like to think life as something to be enjoyed. If I didn't enjoy myself, life would just be a bitch. As a result, I think you only live once, make the most of it and enjoy it while you can.